So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to be taking a look at anchor tags in HTML. Again, a very simple thing, but a very important one. So anchor tags in HTML allow you to anchor, to link different pages on the internet together. Now, back in the days in um, 1990s and stuff, when things were not very advanced, so you cannot have very complicated layouts like this, right? Um, what you had to do is basically internet was just a bunch of web pages linking to one another. It still is, but now there are all fancy web applications and whatnot. But uh, yeah, back in the days, the only thing you could do is just write a bunch of text with HTML and heading tags and paragraphs and all that stuff. And then if you want the user to move to a different page, you're going to make use of anchor tag, the A tag. So how does that work? Let me just show you. So here's the anchor tag. You start defining it by A and then, you know, inside the, inside the, uh, in between the tags, you write whatever you want to do. So I want to say, maybe go to Google, right? But something's not right. Hmm. If you take a look in the output, you see it's, it's basically just, just text, right? How do you make it go to Google when you click on that? Now for that purpose, what you have to do? is you need to provide additional information to this particular anchor tag, right? You need to tell it something it should do. So it's not a not a single hard coded um, link. So it's not something like, you know, uh, maybe like go to Google. So it's not something like this. Go to, you know, it does not really work like that because you cannot really hard code all the information on the internet. So you need to provide you need to provide some sort of dynamic functionality in the HTML itself as well. So how does the web standards achieve that? They achieve that through the attributes of the HTML tags. So attributes um, are basically just just think of them in a way. Um, I, I would just tell them, tell them to you in a way which would make sense. So attributes are just some sort of additional information, you know, linking to the HTML tags, that's it. Technically, the HTML tags still work without attributes, but they would really have less or no meaning at all, right? So just like you can see, a tag works just fine. We'd have no, you know, insane things going on on the web page, but it does not really have any meaning at all. So one of the attributes, attributes of the a tag is the href, right? So href is one of the attributes and you see how an attribute is coded is you write the name of the attribute, this little guy right here, then an equal to sign right here, which assigns it a particular value and then within double quotes or single quotes, well, again, the inner word is that double quotes is preferred in the index.html files. So always make use of double quotes and in the double quotes, you're going to provide a value, right? So a value would be a hyperlink, a link to the, to the website. In our case, it should be uh, google.com, right? Just like this. And I'm just going to make some space here so that we can all see. So you see, we have an a tag. We have an href attribute, which provides additional information to this anchor tag. And the href attribute is set to google.com with the assignment being done by an equal to symbol. Then in between goes the text, go to Google, right? So now if you go ahead and click this, you should expect that you get redirected to google.com, but we get this sad little page that google.com refused to connect, obviously because um, this thing is running in a constrained environment because you see we are on the browser itself. But if you go ahead and copy paste this in a file on your laptop or on your desktop and then open it with Chrome, then if you click on this, you would be on Google. One thing we can do is we can define another attribute, right? So we can say another thing to um, to the browser that, hey, not only do I want this href, this link to go to Google, but I also want that this link should open in a new tab. Now, why the hell is it named target and why the hell its value is blank? I have no idea, right? This is how it works. So if you want to open a link in a new tab that is a new window kind of here you have to give it a target of blank right so target is a property is an attribute which defines how 
your window should be open. You can even see that in the help section we have a bunch of values. If you write underscore self here, you're going to see load the URL into same browsing context as the current one, that is in the same page. If you have a blank, then it opens a new tab, right? And if you have a parent, you know, all that good stuff. So we do not really need to worry about all that stuff, but yeah. So once we have the target blank, if I go ahead and click on this now, you can see that a new page opens up showing Google just like how you would expect. If I close this tab, if I change it to, um, I don't know, maybe Yahoo, right? And if I change this to go to Yahoo, you see how the link changes to go to Yahoo. And if I click on this, we are now on yahoo.com, right? So yeah, that's, that's basically it for the anchor tag and how it works. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.